Welcome to Archbolt Car Shop today. It's Steve doing a walk round appraisal. Here we've got a Ford S Max 2 litre diesel titanium. Beautiful colour, moon dust silver on a 67 plate. Let's have a little walk around showing around the car. Purpose of video just to show there's no real bad damage on the car, no bad dents, scuffs, or scrapes, and that the car has put a photo up on the website. So we'll start off with the front end, quick walk around. You see we've got front parking sensors straight away. So a quick walk around the front end. And then again, off parking sensors, you can see we go around. As I said, it's just to show you there's no real bad damage on the car. And then the car is as per the photos we put on the website. So up onto the bonnet there. It is obviously a used car, it's not brand new, so it could have uh, some minor, minor, minor wear and tear, maybe odd stone chip that's been touched in, but uh, odd surface mark. But other than that, I think we should be looking pretty good. So onto the front passenger side. We're all looking good. All looking fine. Front passenger door. Absolutely spot on. Onto the rear door. It's just to give you a quick, uh, just a quick video look around the car. Privacy glass in the back. The rear alloy. Absolutely fine. Just onto the rear of the car there. Just show you down the length of the car. Looking absolutely beautiful in this beautiful sunny day. So, rear bumper corner, all looking good. Parking sensors on the rear, so parking sensors front and rear on this car. Obviously going to be very, very useful. So anybody who purchases it. Obviously it is a seven seat MPV, so seven seat people carry on if you wish is this. It's uh, in the boot here. We've just got it down, the seats down, just to show you the size of the boot. There is a tonneau cover that comes with the car, but we've just left it out just so we can show you the size in here. So there's the size of the boot. Now, to put the extra seats up, it's very, very simple. I'm trying to show you with one hand. So if, it, if the wheel come up, so you basically pull that. And if I just leak, reach over, you'll see that the seats lock into place. And then to put it back down again, it's got a little lever just here. Just pull that lever, let it go, and it goes back down. You can, of course, put all those three seats down flat as well, or virtually flat, by pressing the buttons just here. That will release those down. I'm not going to do it because it's difficult putting it back up one-handed and holding the camera. But uh, you get the gist. Okay, so there you go. Plenty of room in there. Obviously, if you want the extra seats, to use it as a people carrier, you can do. So, rear wheel, all looking good. Rear door, absolutely fine. Driver's door, again, absolutely spot on. Just show you down the length of the car. Mirror housing, all nice. Beautiful car. Really, really nice. Silver, lovely colour. Alloy, absolutely fine. So let's have a quick look inside the car. Okay, door card, first of all. All nice and tidy, no scuffs on there. Electric window control, so you've got electric windows front and rear. And the seats in the back, all nice and tidy. Obviously, you've got ISOFIX on every seat there. If you can just see the logos, I will go around the passenger side and show you from both sides. We've also got, I believe, a 12 volt socket down there. And then obviously you've got your own vents in the back as well. Carpet mats in as well there. So these seats, again, it is difficult to show you, but basically the seat, you pull that lever there and that seat tilts forward. I will put pictures up on the website so you can see how they, uh, how they all work. So absolutely spotless in there, plenty of room. Door card on the driver's side, beautiful self locking system. Then you've got the uh, controls for the electric door mirrors left and right there. Okay, and if you can just so if you can just see that on the bottom there, that is the, the power fold mirrors to fold the mirrors in. Uh, obviously, you've got your joystick for the mirrors. Uh, this one here is to lock off the other electric windows and everything so just the driver can operate them. Obviously, you've got electric windows front and rear control. And the driver's seat itself. 
absolutely fine, no holes, no rips or tears. Obviously you've got a um, height adjuster there and a the lumbar support as well. So we'll have a quick look inside. Lots of spec on this car, too much to show you in this little video. Uh, keyless start, so when you get in the key, in, in, get in the key, when you get in the car, once you've got the key in the car with you, it will spring to life. As you can see, let's turn that radio off, I knew that would happen. And then we've got a mileage, I'll just, there we go, 203.27 on the miles. So mileage not bad at all for the car. Plenty of multifunction. Again, I'm just going to try and block the sun out here if I can. So these left and right controls here are for your onboard computers, for your trip, uh, miles per gallon, all that sort of business on there. Left hand side here is cruise control, cruise control and speed limiter. On here, you've got your voice activation for your Bluetooth, um, for your voice commands, etc. Um, answer disconnect calls, volume control up and down, all on there for you. And then in the centre, you've got your main Sync 3 system. On here, we've got your satellite navigation. If you touch it, it will just come up and fill the screen, populate the screen. Press destination, you can get everything you need there. Back, and then press home, takes you back to there. Audio, if you touch it, and then touch it once and again will populate the whole screen but you've got AM, FM, DAB, um, CD, um, you can Bluetooth your music to the car, lots of different options there for you. Um, obviously as it says there look connect your phone, everything's touch sensitive, you've got your settings there look you can slide that along for more options, you've got Apple CarPlay, you've got Android Auto Play, so plenty of all different things on there um, that you can do. So coming further down Again, if I just keep the so we do have a single slot CD player, you just see that just there. Hazard warning lights obviously, this is the manual control for the audio system that mirrors uh, the controls I've just shown you. Down here, we have got uh, climate control so you can set the temperature with this one here. Look, if I just make that go down, you see that going down up there. Same with the other side, you can hear that. So it's basically press auto. And it just does everything for you. Um, we've got heated screen, heated rear window, everything on there is what you should, what you would need. A little uh, cubby hole here. You can just see under there you've got a 12 volt socket, two USB sockets, and a bit of storage. Six speed manual gearbox. We do have electronic handbrake over on the left hand side. Parking sensors on and off just here. A couple of good sized cup holders, and then you've got a little knickknack tray there for keeping your bits and pieces in. And a nice deep storage box there you can just see that okay so plenty of plenty of gadgets plenty of kit loads of room in the car it's a massive car great family car it's difficult to show you the plastics but they're all absolutely spotless with the sun just streaming in I'm just trying to block it off with my hand there so you can see but it's a bit difficult but um, I will put pictures up on the site as well but the car is absolutely beautiful seven seat seven seats in the car obviously you can use it as five seat whatever you need um, but as you can see in here it's absolutely spotless really really lovely car so we're just going to have a little walk around to the passenger side a little walk around it's getting late in the day okay get my mouth into gear door card again absolutely fine no issues there and the electric window control and then again the upholstery just to show there's no rips or tears or holes, all absolutely spot on. In beautiful condition. And then finally, the passenger door, which is again absolutely fine. Let your window control there, look, you've got your carpet mat in situ as well. And then the passenger seat, also having the lumbar support, a little knob there. And you've got height, height adjustment as well. So there you go, great family car. Um, seven seats if you need them. It's great in of silver, beautiful, beautiful colour. Nice car, it's in stock now. Two litre diesel titanium S Max. Thanks very much for watching the video.